So what I have in front of me are the brand new Apple Watches. So the Series 10 in the aluminum jet black finish. I'm going to be comparing it to the Series 10 in the titanium slate finish. And I have my good old Apple Watch Series 7. We're going to be doing a screen comparison to see how bigger are the screens are. And I'm also going to be stacking it up against the Ultra 2 in the satin black finish, which looks gorgeous. <laughs> Looking at all the screens, first and foremost, look at the Series 7. It's the thinnest bezel, believe it or not. The Series 7 has a thinner bezel than the Series 10, which is insane to even think about. So if you have a Series 7, I wouldn't even worry about upgrading. Um, I try to pick a watch face that would really showcase the full, the full screen. If not, it's it's a very, very small difference, but close up you can definitely see the bezels are thinner on the Series 7. The Ultra has the thickest bezel. So if we move this over and look at the Series 10 versus the Ultra 2, I wouldn't be too concerned with the bezels if you're trying to decide between the two. But if you look at it material-wise, just looking at it all around, it's a totally different design. So you have a more elegant, glossy look. This is the titanium in the slate. Uh, versus the rugged design of the Ultra, which I'm a big fan. I love this matte black finish. It's really nice. The glossy material is going to have a little fingerprints, but once you wipe it off with a microfiber cleaning cloth, you'll be good to go. But it's a, it's a different design. You have the action button, which I love on the Ultra. No action button on the Series 10. And um, you have your speaker grills here, nice and small and minimalistic. So it just, it's a different design language, but they both Apple Watches is the Apple Watch that you know and love. Now I want to bring in the Jet Black Apple Watch so you guys can see the difference. So the differences between the Jet Black, which is on this side here, I don't know what side you guys are looking at it, but the Jet Black comparing to the Titanium, this one caught me off guard. It's really so similar that I think spending... $6.99 or $7.99 or whatever how much the titanium costs I forgot on top of my head it's a very 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 small difference unless if you want to get the gold then I'll be like okay yeah I understand but comparing jet black to the titanium there is a difference but it, it's a very very subtle difference very very subtle and I think for a day-to-day -day, whatever outfit you put on you're not gonna really notice between the Jet Black versus the Titanium Slate. And if I bring in my Stainless Steel Series 7 in, um, in Graphite, I believe this was Graphite, and I compare it to the Titanium, this is like one-to-one, -one, basically. So I have the red digital crown on the Series 7. Remember those days? Apple got rid of that now. So yeah, so now other than that, it's a basically the same exact thing. It's literally the same exact thing. So. In terms of the chassis, if you're upgrading, if you guys are curious, if you want to upgrade from your stainless steel uh, Series 7 or Series 8, whatever Apple Watch you have, go into the titanium slate, you're going to feel right at home. You have this speaker grill in the Series 7, and you have this brand new speaker grill in the Series 10. I need to probably polish this up now because it is, it is a fingerprint magnet, so that's something that you guys got to keep in mind of. So once in a while, you are going to need to wipe it down to kind of get a good gloss. Now, another difference between the aluminum jet black versus the titanium slate, you have the X iron glass on the aluminum. Let me just have you guys look at this real quick. So you have the, oh, this is the series seven. <laughs> I got confused. That's the series seven. This is the series 10. I, I, I couldn't tell the difference. So I just, that. Yeah. Now the big advantage of going with the titanium series 10 opposed to the aluminum jet black you get in the sapphire crystal display on the titanium and that's going to equal out basically scratch resistance so bringing in my series 7 stainless steel you guys can see this thing is in pristine conditions i had this since day one i had this since day one and there's no scratches the only thing is stainless steel is prone to get in micro scratches and you're gonna see that with this but even from a distance it still looks it still looks clean all right, so we have the Series 10 here versus the Series 7. And here's how they look side by side. It's definitely thinner 
All right, so I have the scale here. Let's see how much these Apple Watch weigh. So we have the Series 10 in the jet black aluminum. It is 40 grams. Then bringing in the Series 10 titanium, that's also gonna be 40 grams. Let me make sure this is, this is correct. Yeah, it's 40 grams. So that, that's interesting. So it's the same exact weight as the aluminum with the titanium. And let's bring in the Ultra too. It's going to probably be a little heavier. Yeah, 60 grams. And then we have the good old Series 7 stainless steel. That's going to be heavy. 52 grams. So for I can't help you with that. Now, the Series 10, just all in all, it's some new features. Yes, I understand you have the depth gauge and everything. But to be honest with you, if you're coming from a Series 3, you can upgrade to any one of these Apple Watches. It's just, it's up to you. I would recommend going with the Ultra because the battery life on the Ultra is absolutely insane. This, this battery can last for two days easily. And yeah, and looking at the screen to body ratio, it's not really that much of a big difference. It kind of gives you the illusion that it is bigger because the display is curving off to the corners. So yes, it is a, a tiny bit bigger, but this is still a big watch. They all big watches. All of these are big watches. It's just a matter of which one, which one is more of your style. Do you like more of a curvier Apple Watch for a more elegant look, or would you rather have a rugged kind of design look? And by the way, I have my OG Apple Watch Ultra here, and I did an entire review on it. Absolutely love it. And just comparing the the black versus the natural titanium real fast, and. I actually gotta have the same thing. It's the same exact size and everything, but just taking a look at both of these colors here in action. The black one is gonna make the button stand out a little bit with that action button, even though it's still orange. But the best thing about the natural titanium Apple Watch is any watch band that you throw at it is gonna look absolutely insane. It's gonna look good. An Apple Watch Ultra 1 or even 2, I think you could probably sit this one out for the year. And I forgot to mention, one more thing I forgot to mention. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention, all of your Apple Watch bands are compatible. So compatibility isn't going to be an issue. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. And I hope you guys found this one helpful. If it did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. And until next time, have a simple day. And fun little fact, I already did this entire video already, but it was out of focus. Now I'm just here refilming the video. I took an L, but hey, we're taking a W on this video.